Howdy, folks. Happy to be here. Um, we are here if, uh, with a nice, chill Sunday night stream. Um, I have my Nerds Gummy Clusters, which this is not an ad for Nerds Gummy Clusters, but honestly, I would be a spokesperson for Nerds Gummy Clusters. They're one of the most delicious things on the planet. And I love them so. Um, so... Last stream, I got us out of Sabrina's gym, and we got to um, the Pokemon Center. So we now have six of our eight badges. So if you recall, we actually went to Cinnabar Island so we could get our Aerodactyl. And Cinnabar Island is where we are going to get our final, not final, our seventh gym badge. So what I want to do today, we're going to need some more levels for that. So there are a lot of trainers that we have skipped kind of throughout here, I believe. Because um, I know there are some trainers on this route um, that we skipped. I think we baby battled them. Nope. Okay, great. So just tying a couple loose ends there. Um, I know we can probably go back down to Fuchsia City and catch a couple trainers. And again, yeah, these will be a little bit lower level than us, but we can probably catch a few levels, have a pretty chill stream tonight. I think we will uh, make a stop to the mysterious Pokemon Mansion, um, which I'm excited to show off. Also think that's a very interesting place in the Pokemon universe that isn't discussed enough. <laughs> Try not to chew in your ear too much. But, uh, how we doing, folks? Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, welcome. Um, thank you for checking this out after the fact, as always. Um, this is usually outside of my normal stream time. If I'm streaming on the weekends, usually I'll try to stream kind of more midday, like between 11 and 3. Um... This is more like my weekday time, about 7 o'clock. Um. <laughs> but, well, I'll try not to eat too much. <laughs> um, tonight, my wife and I, or today I should say, we actually caught Killers of the Flower Moon, which I was really excited to watch. Um, and if you don't know about that, it's the new Martin Scorsese movie. Um, with Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, Lily, Lily Gladstone is up for the Oscar for Best Actress. <sighs> but uh, it was a really good movie. It's about um, murders that took place in Oklahoma of the Osage people, um, Native Americans. And... It was really, really, really horrible. Very sad movie. Um, basically because these people, their land had oil, so um, they became very rich. And, you know, white people came in and <laughs> wanted the money. So they just started killing everybody. And it was a very sad story. And one that, you know, if the movie is to be believed, still never really got its due. Um... And it's just really, really sad. It was a really, really good movie. I thought uh, Leo was really good. I thought Lily Gladstone was really good. I remember we fought her. Back to Lavender Town. We're just going all over Kanto here. Um, yeah, I know there's a couple trainers right here outside of Rock Tunnel we can catch. Um, like this girl here. Yeah, I never fight these trainers up here because I'm always just exhausted from being in Rock Tunnel. Or, I guess I'm not exhausted. My <laughs> my Pokemon are weak. Um, but yeah, Killers of the Flower Moon. Really good movie. Very intense movie. Um, so if you're not into that or violence, maybe don't watch it. Um, but I'm into kind of all kinds of movies. Really, other than horror movies, I like a lot of different kinds. Because, you know, I'll watch the... The sad and violent killers of the Flower Moon. 
but also just love, I don't know, Disney's Hercules. Um, that's another one of my favorite movies. Oh, that sounds so great. I want to watch it right now, actually. Oh, this is a hiker. I don't know if, yeah. Copter's not my best. Not my best matchup here. Ooh. Oops, no. Not that. Um, I do kind of want to see if I can get some levels for my wife here. Um, he's Mega Drain and heal up. Yeah, and we're kind of in an awkward middle stage uh, going back and fighting these trainers. Um, oh, here's another hiker. Let's get my... Oops. Not what I meant to do. Um, oh my gosh, guys. What are buttons? There we go. Uh, but yeah, Killers of the Flower Moon, great. Um, I still wouldn't say... I remember reading reviews about it. It was kind of like, this is the best Scorsese movie. This movie's amazing. And I'm like, I thought it was good. I thought it was, I mean, you know, really good, obviously. Um, I always say it takes $200 million and all the blood, sweat, and heart of a bunch of people for someone in a movie theater to just go, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I think about that all the time when I finish watching a movie. Um... But yeah, I, I thought like among the Oscar movies that I saw, it was pretty on par. Um, I really feel like a lot of the top movies this year are pretty evenly matched. Like there isn't one movie where I'm like, this is way better, at least of the ones I've seen. I have not seen everything. Because um, I know there are some nominated for Best Picture like, like Anatomy of a Fall, I think that's nominated, and Zone of Interest. Um, that I haven't seen. Let's go. We're gonna go to Pallet Town first. Because we, when we went to Cinnabar Island, we did not um, fight any of these trainers here in the water. Um, because we were super eager to get to good old Cinnabar Island. I have super repels, yes I do. Yes, because I don't want to run to any, run into anything in the water. I might show you a few things that are in the water. Oh, fun fact. This little patch of grass here, I believe, is where you catch Tangela in this game. That's a Pokemon that Erica had. Um, and a lot of what I'll do here is I'll kind of sweep through both sides so I make sure I don't miss any trainers. Got our fisherman here. Um, this will be a great time for my beloved wife to pick up some levels. He's got... Six Pokemon, six Magikarp, baby. Um, so we can probably just do some quick Vine Whip action here. <laughs> and the Magikarp fall like hay before my Vine Whip. <sighs> oh, I missed! <laughs> and that's all my Vine Whips. That's funny. But yeah, we've had a we've had a good weekend. Um, I think I was telling last stream that we were out um, we were out at an improv show last night, seeing our friends in this improv group called Rot, um, and they were really good. They were super funny. Um, we had a great time. It's a lovely sprite of Sea King. Um, but we ended up going out with our friends there after the show for a little while, and we're both pretty, you know, working in schools, we get up pretty early and go to bed pretty early for the most part, so we were kind of out past our bedtime a little bit. So I was feeling a little tired today. Ugh. I hope that we can still wake up tomorrow feeling well rested. Very annoying, folks. Very annoying, folks. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, it always takes me a long time to kind of get back into the swing of things for the week. Um, even just after a weekend. My sleep schedule is pretty... Uh, a critical hit from Goldine. I see. Um, the weekend can really get me off my sketch. ba dee doo ba ba 
Okay, for Seeking, we're going to go out to Old Jolteon. I'm going to open all of these Water Trainers with my wife because, again, we, we just hit level 36. Um, we're about to get to level 38. So we can finally evolve my wife. I've been talking about that for, like, the last 10 streams, it seems like. Um, so... Let me go ahead and do this. You know what I might do? I might just really prioritize my wife here. Um, and this is something that I feel like I'll do when I'm playing these games. Because Weepin' Bell, my wife, is a grass type. And the next gym that we're going to run into is actually fire type. So it makes sense for us to use these trainers that we have a good matchup on. Um, for my wife, Weeping Bell. And I really don't want things to miss because I don't have very many power points. Ugh. Use acid to finish you off. There we go. Um, so you can kind of like front load the experience a little bit. Um, Tentacruel though is not going to be good. Really hope you don't have a super strong water move that's going to knock out Boney. Because even though this should be super effective, uh, Water gun's not good, but it's not that strong. Ooh, okay. Um, kind of front-loading the experience a little bit. Okay, that's still super effective. So, when you know you're not going to use a Pokemon in, like, an upcoming gym or something, um, you just not use it and let your other Pokemon get the levels from there. Which is a nifty little trick. Um... Mm. These are so good. <laughs> Here is Titus. I really love Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee was always my preferred choice to Hitmonchan. I remember the stream we picked up Hitmonlee. Um, <laughs> I was like, chat, does anybody want Hitmonchan? No? Great. <laughs> uh, we'll keep them in. Yeah, Tentacruel, they're known for their very strong special. Even in later gens, they have spe good special defense. Um, Tentacruel is one of the better Pokemon in this game, actually. People don't really realize that. Um, but their physical defense, much like a, an Alakazam, is their downfall. That's why when we were fighting Sabrina like that, she kept on using Reflect and X-Defense and things like that. Now let's bob and weave through the water. So I make sure I get everybody. Let's get these fishers. These fishers here. Um, so yeah. Uh, actually, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll leave y'all in suspense. Um, we have six Mega Drains left. Mmm. Okay, that's good. Because on those multiple hit moves, when you get a critical hit, it's a critical hit every time. Um, I'll use Acid again. Since we lowered defense, this, will, this should uh, knock out the Seeking. Absolutely. And really, I am just so ready to evolve my wife. I believe um, she's the only member of the team not yet evolved fully. Um, but how was everyone else's day? Yeah, like I said, we watched the movie, and it was good. Um, we went to the store. We usually go to the grocery store on Sundays. Um, my wife and I made dinner. We made this thing called, we literally just call it good chicken. Um, and it's a breaded chicken that we just make on the stove with mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. It is absolutely delightful. Um, you have a Cloyster, great. Cloyster is an ice type, so that could hurt, but one Mega Drain should do it. Oh no, it's gonna be two. This is gonna hurt, kids. Okay, good. All right, we only have one Mega Drain left. Um, but yeah, we made good chicken with mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. We put a little bacon in our Brussels sprouts. Mm, mm, mm. It is wonderful. 
Ba, ba. Well, who do I want? Hello, Keith Angel. And yeah, Keith Angel's time to shine will be in the old water gym. Not water gym, fire gym. Opposite of water. Um, yeah, we went for a walk in Ohio today. It was actually gorgeous. Um, this is actually a really bad matchup for my wife. We'll bring in Eve. Um, because Starmie is part psychic as well as water. And a psychic move would have annihilated us. Also, fun fact, Starmie is not gray. I don't really know why. Like, there are a couple Pokemon in this game whose color palettes are just kind of wrong. Um, Starmie being one of them. Starmie is, like, straight up purple. Uh, ooh, Pin Missile. This is a fun move. Um... Fun fact, this is one of the only moves... I'll get rid of Double Kick, because we have Hitmonlee if I want to use a fighting move. Um, Pin Missile is one of the only bug moves that does damage. Um, and oddly enough, Jolteon is the one that learns it. Jolteon is not a bug type whatsoever. Um, da -da -da -do 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 -da -da um Poliwell! So, I only have one Mega Drain left. This won't kill the Poliwhirl. Yeah. An Acid should clean it up. Oh. Gen 1 Sleep, baby. It is very annoying. I can do this all day. Do this all day, Poliwhirl. How silly. I believe I had a very pesky Poliwhack. I believe I had a very pesky polywag do the same thing. Um, what is happening? Is this like, have I broken something? <laughs> it's five times in a row. Make it six! Holy crap! Maybe this is a thing. Have I soft locked us? Yep. Seven. Well, I'm just gonna speed through this. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> I really think. Oh, there we go. That was 10 hypnosis. 10 hypnosis's accuracy is 55 out of 100. It's not good. That should not happen. That was insane. Um, that was a statistical oddity. Um, this place is a geographical oddity. Uh, that's from O Brother Where Art Thou, if you're familiar. Um, that's a great movie. It's from like 2000 at this point. It's very old. Um, but I love that movie. That's one of my faves. Um, what are some of y'all's favorite movies? <laughs> Tell me in the comments. Um, but what are some of my favorite movies? I don't have, like, a favorite movie. It kind of changes. Um, like, I kind of have, like, an upper tier of favorite movies. Um... Now all you film snobs out there, don't roast me for my favorite movies. Um, Cause I, I mean, you know, I also like to consider myself a pretty big film fan. But you know, a lot of times, some of the more kind of like critically, critically acclaimed, fancier movies, I'm like, that was really, really good and I really, really appreciate it. I might even love it, but it's not really going to be a movie I return to that often, so it's not really going to be one of my favorite movies, you know? Um, but uh, some of my favorite movies... Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou is in kind of like my top tier. Um, Titanic is up there. I love Titanic. Logan, for you X-Men fans out there. I love Logan. Uh, I love La La Land. I love Forgetting Sarah Marshall, if you're my age. That was like a huge high school, like end of high school comedy um, that I still, still love. Um, there's something I'm missing. Inception. Um, I love the first three Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I love them. Um, love them. Specifically the first one. It's so good. Um, so, oh, that's a handful. Some of my favorite movies, Juno, Juno. My wife and I love, love, love Juno. Um, let's see. So we go to the gym here and the door is locked and it just like 
turns you away. It's really weird. Um, but you go in here. Chaotic, mysterious little track. Yeah, super cool. Um, so this is the Pokemon Mansion, and I was describing it a little bit earlier. Forgive me, I don't remember exactly how to get through here. Um, hmm. Oh, shoot. Okay, cool. Um, I think there's some, hold on, I'm gonna put even the front, because, oh, running away in this game is based on your speed. Um, like a lot of things. Um, there are some fire Pokemon in here, um, and kind of like where the fire-type trainer Blaine gets some of his Pokemon. At least I think there's fire-type Pokemon in here, in this game. Um, but, is there a secret item here? No, there's not. Um, in this Pokemon mansion, there are like these switch puzzles. Ooh, there's a Grimer. It's only level 23. That's very odd. Um, growing up, Muck was one of my favorite Pokemon because, um, Ash had a Muck. He didn't use it very much, but it had some pretty memorable moments in the anime that I liked. Um, yeah, Eradicate. Uh, I'll probably just pop a Repel here, um, uh, because any, uh, any of the fire Pokemon that we might see, which again, I forget if they're here or not, um, any of the fire Pokemon that we might see will catch in, um. Blaine's gym. Um, but this is the Pokemon Mansion. It is a very mysterious place, kind of like a run-down, burned-up place. Um, and we gotta do some of these switches. Um, and I forget which ones we need to do or not. These little Rhydon switches. Yeah, also in the anime, Blaine has a Rhydon for some reason. That doesn't really make any sense. Rhydon's not a fire type. Um, but there, ooh, there might be a secret item here. Nope, there's not. I'm just wasting our time here, folks. Ooh, wow. Oh yeah, there was that Rattata. Again, repels don't really work if your level is lower. Um, but here in the Pokemon Mansion, you get um, a little bit of lore um, that explains some stuff having to do with, you know what, I'll just show you. But you get some secret lore. And Generation 1 does a really good job of explaining some of this stuff. Um, just kind of, you know, independent. No one's really telling you. Um, it's just kind of cool that it lets you happen upon some cool information or some cool lore without, like, um really, really outright telling you. I'm not explaining this super well, but uh, this guy got a Charmander. You know, I don't know what Charmander has right now. I'm just gonna fight it with my wife because my wife is powerful. Um, Ember, please get out of here. Super effective, who cares? Tanking that. Mm. Great. Yes. Um, Okay, so assume, Razor Leaf. This is the move that I really wanted. Um, uh, we're going to get a Vine Whip for this. Um, razor Leaf is a Grass-type move. Uh, it's not the strongest Grass-type move in the game, but it's probably the best. Um, because it has a high critical hit chance, um, which is really good. Um, especially in this game. Um, and we are just gonna smoke. I'm gonna use Bubble Beam, I'm that confident. Yeah. Didn't even need to use Surf. Um, so, yeah, this place does a really good job of giving you lore without super spelling it out for you. And that's another thing with Generation 1. Like, the legendary Pokemon are very much like a thing that are always available and like super a part of the story in later gens. Um, here we're at like the top floor. Um, 
yeah, as we get as we get higher, the Pokemon's levels are pretty high. Um, so even my repels aren't keeping everything away. But they do a really good job of having some legendary Pokemon just kind of like secretly hidden throughout the throughout the region. Also, I want to make sure I didn't miss something up here. Okay, I didn't. Um, okay. For all, ah, uh, yes, here we go. For all of you big Gen 1 players up here, uh, just, you'll have to pardon me, because I don't know where everything is. Um, here we go. Calcium. <sighs> kind of annoying. There we go. So here, there's this book sitting here. What's this about? Diary, July 5th, Guyana. Uh, South America. Did I say that right? Guyana? Um... A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Okay. What's that about? Um, does it have something to do with what I'm seeing right now? Alright, hold on. You're probably a trainer. I'm gonna fight you, bony. This place is like huge. Ooh, Ninetales. Gorgeous sprite. Gosh, I love the sprites in this game. Um, really glad we taught bony earthquake. <laughs> nice work, Bonet! Bonet! Claude Bonet. He's a brilliant painter. Oh, wow, he had a lot of money. Probably because he's a dirty, good for nothing thief. Um, so here we have another book. What do you have to say? Okay, wow, these level 43 Rattatas, um, or Rattatas. However you pronounce it. Diary, February 6th. Mew gave birth. What is Mew? We named the newborn Mew 2. Interesting. Um, let's see. I feel like there's an item down there. Um, and I mean, you know, I'm sure... Oh, Max Revive. Awesome. Um, I'm sure so many of my Generation 1 friends watching this, I mean, you know who Mew and Mew 2 are. Um... Mew is a mythical Pokemon. That's technically was never actually available in the Gen 1 games. You could kind of get it via a glitch. Um, but in the story goes that Mew, that Mewtwo was cloned from Mew. And it was done so in this super secret lab here on Cinnabar Island. Um... I believe I gotta do this statue up here, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, uh, yes. And we can fight this guy. We have to fall down one of these little thingies. Um, yeah, it's like... <laughs> playing this game for the first time is actually not very intuitive at all. Oh, nice critical hit, Jolteon. Um, it's not very intuitive at all, like, that you need to, like, jump down a thing. Um, because there's just kind of like a big empty blue space. Come on. Final earthquake you, are you happy? Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, missed my mouth. I'll stay in. Exactly. You can't do nothing to me, Magneton. You can't do nothing. There we go. Awesome. But yeah, Mew was cloned from Mewtwo, and it happened in a super secret lab here on Cinnabar Island, maybe in this mansion? They never tell you that, but that's it's very much implied that that's kind of like where it went down. And uh, Blaine might have been a part of it. Blaine being the seventh gym leader. Hmm, <laughs> Now, I might pick wrong here. Also, I don't remember where this takes me. Okay, yeah, it just takes me to kind of like a dead-end spot up here. Um, oh, crap. <laughs> there we go. I'm almost positive I need to jump down on the left side here. So here you can just kind of like fall off the building, kind of. It's weird. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, 
I was right. So this will kind of help us get to the, you know, the bottom of the mansion. Because we got to get to the basement to get a super secret key. I think it's literally called the secret key. Um, and yeah, I just love that they don't really tell you any of this about like the Mew Mewtwo stuff. Um, it's just kind of, it's just kind of a mystery and they just leave it as a mystery. But now, you know, we live in the age of the internet and everybody knows everything. Um, I don't know if you knew that. Uh, the internet, do you know about the internet? Um, it's a very fancy new invention. It's so weird that it wa it was new in my lifetime, which is crazy. Crazy. Um, now here, if I go out like that black, I think it takes me back to like the beginning of the thing. Um, the beginning of the mansion, which is super sneaky and not uh, good for a child who doesn't know where they're going. Like if you go off in the bottom right there, off of the screen there, it'll take you back to the beginning. I actually don't remember. Um, I don't want to find out. Actually, you know what? We'll see. We'll see what happens because we're in the last area now. And I can just uh, go back and try. Um, we'll, go, we'll do Keith Angel here. Because I think we have one more battle. Yeah, this music is crazy. Um, bop. Ba, ba, da, ba. Growlithe. Oh, love Growlithe. Um, I believe... No, our rival doesn't have a Growlithe in this game. Our uh, Growlithe and its evolved form Arcanine are like big Pokemon for blue, our rival, like canonically. But since yellow is kind of its own special game, he doesn't have one, which is really weird. Lovely. Um, also, I need to remember as soon as we get out of here that we can evolve my wife. Um, okay. TM14. This is a crazy powerful TM. It is the TM for Blizzard. Um, a really strong ice move. So we have... Ooh, that might be good to use on Keith Angel. I'm going to keep it in my back pocket for now. Uh, but could be... Could come in mighty handy. Um... Uh, let's make bony faster. And then we need to use our iron here. Uh, Titus can probably use a little defense. And then finally we'll use our calcium. Uh, we'll make my wife hit a little harder. In the special stat. So here's one more. Um, hold on, let me do the statue while I'm thinking about it. Uh-oh. We gotta press this switch to get to the next area. At least I think I do. Um, diary, September 1st. Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Um, so very cool. And as you've noticed, Mewtwo is not here. Mewtwo was once here. Um, they actually do a thing in the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games, where um, I believe in the Pokemon Mansion, there is like the pod where Mewtwo was cloned and they like left it like empty and broken like Mewtwo had um, escaped from it, which is super cool. Um, they don't show you that in this game because again, they ain't spelling nothing out for you. Um, all right, we'll fight this guy. Uh, we'll do Keith Angel again. He might have electric types, but we'll see. Ah, it's fine. It's just a little Magnemite. Never mind that uh, Gyarados is four times weak to electric. It won't kill me, right? We'll see. Okay. I'm getting too big for my britches here, kids. There we go. Ah! That might have killed Gyarados. I cannot stress enough. Gyarados is wonderful. Keith Angel has been one of the strongest members of our team for like this entire run. Ever since he evolved anyway. But I cannot stress enough just how easily electric moves annihilate Keith Angel. It's like how I said last stream how 
water and grass moves just completely annihilate Rhyhorns and Rhydons and Onyx and Geodude and all of those. I don't know why in the Gen 1 games I kind of tout its lovely game design all the time. Um, but when it comes to the rock type Pokemon, they all gave them the ground type as well, which is cool that they can all use like, you know, uh, dig and earthquake for, uh, same type attack bonus damage. Um, there we go. But, um... They're all so weak to water and grass type moves. So here, that removed like a little door that was there. A rare candy, a wonderful item. So like I described, oh, in the Let's Go games, I don't even know if, um, if you guys know what the Let's Go games are or if I described them. They are kind of like a soft-ish remake of Yellow. Um, it's kind of like, it's kind of weird. Because it's not technically a remake, it's kind of hard to explain. Um, that is the TM for Solar Beam, I believe. Which is the, which is the strongest, um, grass move. But it takes a turn to charge it up. Which is super not worth it. So we're probably not going to teach that to my wife. Um, but about here is where that pod was in Let's Go, in Let's Go Pikachu. Um, there, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee. And here we will find the secret key, which we need to get into the gym. Um, and usually I would use an escape rope right here, but I want to see, pardon me, I'm going to speed up. I'm going to see, um, where that little mystery area takes us. I think, I think it like, ah, oh crap. I think it transports you, like, back to the... <laughs> it's really weird music when you speed it up. Um, I think it takes you back to, like, the beginning of the mansion, and it's, like, a really bad, like, workaround thing. Oh, can I even get there right now? Uh, it doesn't look like I can. Oh, well, I guess we'll never find out. Um, I'm sure someone out there has a video about it. Um, I can probably look it up after this stream. So that's what an escape rope does. When you're in a dungeon, you're like, crap, I just need to get out of here. You just pop that escape rope. Um, let's see here. Let's deposit a few things. We're going to deposit solar beam, because we're not going to use it. Um, I'm probably going to deposit this max potion, because in all honesty, I'm probably not going to use it. Because hyper potions heal 200 hit points, and that's like as much as we're ever going to need healed. I'm going to keep Blizzard in the, uh, what you call it, the PC for now, because I don't know if we're going to use it. Uh, you know what, actually, let me see, let's do some real-time planning here. I'm going to look at what Gyarados learns in this game. Oh yeah, and there are so many... I will explain what Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are in a second. I've got sidetracked. Um, but, uh, ah, yes, Gyarados learns Hyper Beam. Um, yeah, totally. I can, no, Blizzard, Hyper Beam, Surf, and whatever. Yeah, gosh, Gyarados is such a good Pokemon. Um, oh, Gyarados can learn Ice Beam. Oh, wow. Okay, great. I'll just teach Gyarados Ice Beam. Sick. Well, I'm going to take that out of the PC. Um, so I will deposit Blizzard, because Ice Beam is better. I did not want the town map. Um, Ice Beam is TM 13. Ooh, and that reminds me I need the Leaf Stone so we can evolve my wife. Okay, let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Sorry. Um, they were kind of like soft-ish remakes of Pokemon Yellow, and... What it was, was they were heavily integrated with Pokemon Go. That was kind of like the reason they existed, was to bring in some of the new players that loved playing Pokemon Go, like, back into the Pokemon franchise. It was kind of like a money thing. Um, the games are super delightful. I think they're really cozy and really, really lovely to play. Um, they just play a lot differently. 
than a lot of Pokemon games do. Because things are less focused on battling and more focused on catching. Um, like Pokemon Go. Oop. Almost spilled seltzer all over myself. Um, Alright, so let's do some of these things here. Um, Ice Beam. Ice Beam is one of the best moves in the game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and teach it to our powerhouse Keith Angel. Um, I might go ahead and get rid of good old trusty Bubble Beam. Because even though I do love it, Surf is a better move. And it's a water move, so we don't really need Bubble Beam. Goodbye, comrade. Um, I just love Bubble Beam. And it's like, you hate to get rid of those TM moves that you get from the gym leaders. They feel special. Um, and Bubble Beam is always great when you can, like... Because often you'll have to evolve Pokemon with a Water Stone. And you can just uh, automatically have that same type attack bonus move. Which is really cool. And so Gyarados is, like, looking strong right now. Ice Beam is going to be very important later in our later in our run. Are we ready? The moment of truth. My wife will reach her final form. Life is evolving. There she is. She's a real man-eater. <laughs> uh, love Victory Bell. Um, it's so funny. My wife is definitely just a bell sprout. That's a that's how this whole thing started. But it's great to see her reach her final form as well. Love Victory Bell. Um, great move set for Gen One Two. Loving it. Loving it. Um, okay, great. So now we have a little bit of time left. We can get into fighting some of these trainers in Blaine's gym. I don't know if we'll fight him tonight. Um, Keith Angel will go first. Now we can go into the gym. And here, Blaine, this door is locked. He has these little quiz machines. Blaine's a little tricky quiz master guy. That's like his thing. Um, so, get it right and the door opens to the next room. Get it wrong and face the trainer blocking the way. If you want to conserve your Pokemon for the gym leader, then get it right! Here we go! You can go back to the Pokemon Center, whatever you want. This It's not that important. Um, Caterpie evolves into Butterfree. I remember this. This is a huge trick question, because Pater Caterpie does eventually evolve into Butterfree. It directly evolves into Metapod. But the answer is still yes, because technically it does eventually evolve into Butterfree. Very tricky. Come on. Um... So, when you get it right, you don't have to fight the trainer, but we're kind of trying to fight some of these trainers, so I'm going to fight them anyway, you know? Um, really want to get our team, our squad, some levels. Because um, I think I might get the squad kind of like up to level 37-ish, and then I maybe just might start skipping some of these guys. Or we'll just work our way through them pretty quick like this. Um, Ninetales. Uh, Volpix evolves into Ninetales. For those of you who didn't get that. Um, because Volpix has six tails, and nine tails, you're never gonna believe this. Nine tails has nine tails. Who'd have thought? Um, oh yeah, Roar doesn't work in this game, I don't think. Roar is a move that um, is supposed to, like, expel your Pokemon out of the battle and kind of drag in another one. Um, but in Generation 1, it just doesn't work. It's just broken. Um, do you know how hot Fire Breath can get? I mean, I have, I have a pretty good idea of how hot Fire can get, so I think I have a pretty good idea of how hot Fire Breath can get. <laughs> um, again, uh, this video is sponsored by Nerds Gummy Clusters. I, uh, really hope you can sponsor me in the future. I will, uh, oh, that's so annoying. 
I will pull hard for you. Oh, come on. There we go. Make our way through our confusion a little bit. Um, Nine Tails once again. Uh, we're going to Boney. Got that earthquake going. Yeah, Boney and Keith Angel are going to be the real stars of the show here. Um, with our super super effective earthquake and surf. Yow, hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. That reminds me of something from Samurai Jack. Do we have any Samurai Jack fans in the house? Um, there are nine certified league badges. Get out of here. There's only eight. Don't you know anything? I'm still going to fight you, though. Um, we'll get Copter up here in the front. Uh, hopefully get a level or two. Um, yeah, Samurai Jack, absolutely amazing show. It ran on Cartoon Network from, like, like 2001, 2004, I'm pretty sure was the original run. And it, I loved it when I was young. It was so good. It's, like, really, um, really good kind of sparse storytelling, um, very often because it just didn't use a lot of words. Um, it was so good, very kind of like sound design heavy, very visually cool and unique um, animation style wise. Um, and its original run was like abruptly ended. Like it ended on like a weird episode where nothing really happened. Um, but then later, Oh, I was living in L.A. at the time. Um, it would have been like 2017, 18, I believe. Something like that. Maybe even 19. Correct me if I'm wrong if you're watching this and no. Um, but uh, they revamped it for one last season. Just like one last like 10 episode season. And since the show was made for kids, Jack like famously never killed a living thing. He always killed robots. <laughs> um, but for this last season, they were like, we're gonna let Jack, like, actually kill someone. So it wasn't, like, super violent or anything, but they just let a little more, like, adult themes, like, a little more violence in um, for that last... Like, it wasn't, like, Primal. If you've seen Primal, it's the same creator. It wasn't like that at all. Um, Polymag evolves two times, and you simpletons. Um, but yeah, it wasn't like Primal at all, but it was still like a step up in maturity, and, um, it was really, really great. I love how they, um, wrapped it up. I, well, the last couple episodes felt a little rushed to, like, definitively finish the story, um, but I always remember the first couple episodes of that last season are incredible i love them so much um and it has a lot to do with like jack's conscious j conscience um and uh it's it's hard to explain i just highly recommend watching that show um i okay i wasn't paying attention to that question okay so i was right awesome um oh, i'll show you what happens when you get one wrong after this trainer um Ooh, Rapidash. That sprite. Ooh, look at that sprite. That sprite is gorgeous. Um, we're going to bring in Keith Angel for this. Ah, Fire Spin is a trapping move. Attack continues. And Rapidash is really fast, so it could, in theory, trap me in a Fire Spin forever. We'll see if it does. Hopefully it doesn't. Like, okay, good. Because it could just, it could have just kept using Fire Spin and I could never move. Could have never moved. Um, but again, highly recommend Samurai Jack. Um, I just really have grown to love animated shows. I mean, I always loved them growing up. Um, but there was kind of like a brand of shows when me and people my age were growing up, like Samurai Jack or like Teen Titans, that were just like a little more, like they were elevated, you know? in a way. Um, let me show you what happens when we get one wrong. Pokemon quiz, test your skill. Pokemon of the same kind and level are not identical. That is true, but I'm gonna say no. Burr, burr, sorry, bad call. 
And then this dude just walks over and fights you. I've been to many gyms, but this is my favorite. I mean, you probably didn't fit in very well because you didn't use any of the types that they use. You use fire types, so you should go to the fire type gym, you miserable, incompetent thief. Um, as Ron Swanson would say. Um, we're getting pretty close here, gang. I think, uh, I think we might be able to give Blaine a shot. Okay, good, yeah. Because when you defeat them, the door still opens. Okay, there's Blaine right there. TM28 contains Tombstoner. No. That is Dig, actually. Um, fire is weak against H2O. Well, guess what? You're about to get smacked in the face with some H2O right now via Surf. Um, okay. Keith Angel can probably get to level 37 here. Um, so it's gonna be the Keith Angel and Boney show against Old Blaine. And yeah, we have time to fight him. This will probably be the last thing we do on stream. Um, but what I do want to do... Actually, you know what? Boney's full health. I'm just gonna let him pop a, pop a super potion and... I don't know how many surfs. How many surfs do I have? Um, nope. Can't use it right now. Uh, I got six. That should be enough. Let's see. Um, okay, cool. Um, we're about to get the most amazing battle music of all time. Ha! I am Blaine. I am the leader of the Cinnabar Gym and maybe a mad scientist. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challengers. Ha! You better have Burn Heal. Amazing! Every time. Yes, I actually... Ooh, 48. But again, I have a good type matchup here. I wasn't really paying attention. I believe Blaine has three Pokemon in this game. I think he has a Nine Tails, a Rapid Ash, and an Arcanine. And to be honest, I think Blaine is the first Arcanine we'll see in the game. One thing I love about Pokemon games is that they really save key Pokemon for key moments in battles. Um, uh, yes, we have Rapidash here again. Um, I'll stay in with Keith Angel for now. That sprite is powerful. Okay, great. If you're going to use Growl, I think we're going to be fine. Um, but they always save kind of like the key Pokemon for like the key boss battles, the key moments. Um, easy peasy. Come on. Blaine can be famously a little bit easy. Um, if you have the right matchups, and again, the Gen 1 AI is really weird. Because, again, in theory, that Rapid Ash could have just kept using Fire Spin the whole time. Um, and Ar Arcanine's a really cool, like, boss Pokemon. Look at that majestic beast! Mmm! Um, he's kind of like a dog-tiger thing. I think Arcanine was originally supposed to be a legendary in this game. And this might kill Boney. Oh, it sure did. Oh no. Your boy spoke too soon. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll use a gel. Oh boy. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do what we did against Sabrina. I am going to Thunder Wave you. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna let Eve go in, go in on this. Electric is neutral against fire for whatever reason. Oh, nice critical hit. Okay, again, why are you being silly? Using reflect all the time when you can hit me with fire blast. Dude, what's up? Oh, Leo, hi. Oh, hello to you. That's so fun. Thank you guys. Um, Leo is a old friend of mine from, from college. Oh my gosh. Leo and Hannah. Um, oh, that's so great. Thank you guys for just stopping in. Um, that made me smile real big. 
Um, but yeah, there we go. We're beating Blaine all because of you. Bless you. Um, but uh, yeah, people like Arcanine because it's like a dog tiger. Who doesn't like a dog tiger? Um, Keith Angel up to 38. I have burnt out. Thanks, dog. Ha! The Volcano Badge heightens the special abilities of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. TM38, this is actually Fire Blast, the uh, move that Arcanine was roasting us with. Um, we actually don't have a Fire type, so I might have to teach it to uh, just a rando on our squad. But again, Leo and Hannah, thanks for saying hello. Ah, oh, you guys are so nice. Um, and thank you to anyone who is watching it now or watching it later on YouTube. Really appreciate it. Um, I just have a lot of fun doing it. So with that, I'll see you guys next time, probably Tuesday. And uh, have a good evening. Have a good week. And peace out, homies.